All right, so here we are once again in Premiere Pro CC. I just opened a project and noticed that the font I had chosen for this project has been switched to a completely different font, as you can see right here. Um, as I click on the text layer for this, you will notice over in the effects panel for it, the source text here, when I open up that panel, you'll notice that all of the fonts are missing, so I can't even change it right now. The name of the font that I'm looking for is BD Geminis, as you can see right there. So the first solution to try in this situation, and probably the easiest, is to clear the project media cache, which I can show you how to do. To do that, you go to edit, then down to preferences, up to media cache, and then that will open a dialog window for you. And up here, you can see remove media cache files, you click on delete and click OK, and that will take care of that. Now, just for the record, this did not work for me on my system, uh, currently Windows 10, but it apparently has worked for others. So that is why I am including it here. But it led me to solution two, which is to access the fonts through the essential graphics panel. Now, if you don't see that panel in your workspace, you could bring it up by going up to window and then scroll down to essential graphics and make sure that's checked and that will open the essential graphics panel. So once that's done, once again, you wanna click on your text layer, then go over to the essential graphics panel, click on text, scroll down, and you will notice that there is a list of fonts there. Now this is not a complete list. If you happen to see the font that you're using in your project, you can go ahead and select that and you can change your text layer right there. However, the list does not always show the fonts that you may have downloaded or the ones you may have gotten from the Adobe website. And that is the case with my project. This list does not display the font I originally chose for this text. In this case, it's BD Geminis, as you see here. And I think that's why it's in brackets because it doesn't appear in this list. So this led me to my current solution, which is solution three. And that is to resync the fonts using the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. Now this is a free app you can download from the Adobe website and I'll put a link to it down in the description. Uh, this is the icon for it right here and we'll go ahead and open that up. Let me split the screen here so we can see what's going on and we will open up the Adobe Creative Cloud app here. So what should happen here is as the program is loading, it should sync all the fonts, including the downloaded ones, back to Premiere. And it just did. That is the font I had originally selected. That is BD Geminis. And it's worth noting also that as the program resyncs the fonts, it will resync them throughout your whole project. For example, if I go to the next text layer over here in the project, you will notice but that font is also BD Geminis. That was resynced when the program reloaded. All right, so if you find that after downloading the app, your fonts are still not restored, you can try solution four, which is to re-enable the fonts in the Adobe Creative Cloud app. To do that, you wanna to go to the icon in the top right-hand corner of the program, click on that and go to preferences, and from there, you're going to want to go to services. And then you will see the Adobe fonts toggle. Now, if this is off, you're going to want to switch it on. If it's in the on position, you can toggle it off and then toggle it back on. And I know it seems kind of weird to have to turn it on again when it's already on, but it does work to re-engage the program and restore the fonts. I did this the first time this situation arose and it worked just fine. And since then, the fonts now automatically sync simply by opening the Creative Cloud app. So if you still have difficulty after these solutions, you can always try restarting Premiere Pro and or your machine and try the solutions once again. With solution four, you could also try just restarting the Creative Cloud app. Sometimes that works as well. All right, that is it for this video. I hope it helps. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe and or follow. Click on that notification bell and the like button. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. This is Lawrence Ryan. I'll see you in the next one.